I'd like to show you a little bit of simple color theory with the acrylic glazing technique. Uh, what I did is I squirted some uh, primary colors on a canvas, red, yellow, and blue. And specifically, this is naphthal red, Indian yellow, and ultramarine blue. Also put some titanium white on the bottom, just so that we can get things to be opaque. I want to show you the difference between um, opaque and glazing as it pertains to color. So let's dive in here. We're going to start by uh, creating secondary hues, mixing our red and yellow together, getting orange, um, mixing our red and blue together and getting violet and so forth. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. We'll begin by taking a little bit of this naphthal red and we're going to mix it in with some Indian yellow and some titanium white. And we'll create some kind of an orange here. Let's just add a little more white to that. And this is what you would this is how you would achieve um, a medium value red orange. And we added that white to lighten it up. And that also makes it a little more opaque. Okay, so now let's go ahead and mix our yellow and blue and get our green. Take a little bit of our Indian yellow. Wow, we've got a whole bunch of ultramarine blue there. Just going to mix those together and of course we'll need a little bit of white and that's going to give us a green that's probably a nice green you could use for grass nothing wrong with that green but it could be better okay now we'll go ahead and mix some ultramarine blue and a little bit of our naphthal red, along with a bit of white, so you can see the color. Maybe a little more ultramarine blue. A little more white, just so you can see that violet hue. This is, you know, if you're going to paint a violet that was kind of of a medium value. And again, this is with the more uh, traditional opaque Kind of technique. So now you've got your primary colors, your red, yellow, and blue, and you got your secondary colors, your orange, green, and violet. And so now I'd like to show you the difference between this opaque way of painting that most people are used to and glazing. And again, this is not comprehensive, it's just to give you a simple exercise. You could do, I mean, you don't have to do this. Uh, if you've done painting before, but if you'd like to try it out, it would be fun. I would recommend it. Um, but now let's go ahead and we'll take this little cup of matte medium here. So in my little condiment container. And I'm going to now mix these similar colors uh, without using white. And we're going to be doing it translucently with this matte medium. Now this matte medium again looks kind of white but it is actually uh, polymer resin and it dries crystal clear, uh, even though it looks kind of white when it's wet. So it's going to disperse the molecules of the pigment and it's going to create a translucent or transparent effect where light can shine through that layer of paint, reflect off the white primer of the canvas, the gesso of the canvas, and back to your eye, thus giving it more luminosity and depth. So now if we go ahead and mix some yellow and red, let's, let's we'll start with the red. We're going to take a little bit of the Indian yellow. Let's just get enough on here. Now let's go ahead and dip our brush into some matte medium. And we're going to disperse this pigment with the matte medium, making it translucent. Now you notice it's a lot more streaky. That is one of the drawbacks, but we just overcome that by brushing in many different directions, which you can do in successive layers. Now this, this is actually a pretty, pretty uh, 
a vivid or vibrant layer. Normally I would use a glaze much uh, more translucent. I would have a lot more matte medium mixed in. But I just want to give you kind of an idea of what this will look like here. Brushing it several times so I can get it as smooth as possible. And we'll, we'll stop there. Actually, let me just pull a little bit more red into the mixture just so it mimics the, the hue of the uh, color we have there, of the orange that was opaque. Just pull a little more red into that mixture. As long as you keep it wet, you can actually brush it for a while. A little more red. Okay. That's probably good right there. Just want to get something very similar. Okay. Rinse off my brush. Wipe it clean. And then we're going to do the next color. So we'll take a little bit of Indian yellow. And this ultramarine blue. Let's take more Indian yellow and then now let's go ahead and add some matte medium, dipping our brush into the matte medium mixture. Okay, let's pull in just a little bit more ultramarine blue here. Just want to get the hues kind of similar. And I'll pull in just a little more Indian yellow and ultramarine blue. I want to kind of get the same value, the same level of darkness as what we have uh, with that opaque layer. Zoom in just a little bit so you can see kind of the brushwork here, what that looks like. Let's just pull in a little bit more blue. and Indian yellow. All right, we'll stop right there. It gives us something pretty similar. Now, let's go ahead and do the um, violet. It's off a brush. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a little bit of the naphthal red and uh, ultramarine blue. Mix those together. Maybe a little bit more ultramarine blue. Now I'll take some matte medium to disperse it. Let's give you an idea of what that looks like. All right, so now you can see that, and it's way more vibrant, isn't it, than the opaque version? We do have some streaks in there. We can brush those out with patience. Let's just add a little bit more ultramarine blue to this. See, even if I introduce it in there, as long as I keep it wet, I can blend it for a while. We'll just get a little bit more ultramarine blue and naphthal red. Let's get a little more matte medium. Just disperse that out. See, as long as you keep that wet edge, you can Continue to blend it for a while. You have to know when to stop when the paint <clears throat> starts to set up a little bit. But anyway, um, <clears throat> you can see how that works. And basically, you can see how much more vibrant the glaze is than the opaque layer on each color sample. So you have your violet, so much more vibrant. You've got your uh, orange down here. It's so much more vibrant than the opaque version. Uh, you've got your 
yellow green or your I should say your green and that's much more vibrant than the other green um, so this really gives you an idea of that difference between opaque and glazing um, again we're only painting with one layer here and when we actually do our paintings we're going to add many many layers on top we're going to start off very very light and do successive layers so you're going to have the benefit not only of one glazed layer but several and it's going to give it just an amazing sense of vibrancy i just want to show you that difference here and i hope that was helpful i'll see you in the next video